At least they've managed to come through unscathed. Their team for this derby game is unchanged. Frank McClintock and George Armstrong both passed physical test during the morning. But the real hero to emerge at Highbury in the last week is, of course, Peter Storey, whose goals kept Arsenal alive in the cup. Backed up in every sense by the bold front running of Ray Kennedy. What a brilliant first full season he's having. As for Chelsea, their team is also unchanged. It's the one that's disposed of Bruges and Leeds United in the past 10 days. And yet it's curious to see the name of Peter Bonetti missing. Illness has kept him out. Hudson really was uh, knocked to the ground there by Storey. Hollins with the throw and the linesman's flag's gone up. Osgood, he's flipped it. Has it gone over? But no, the whistle have gone in any case on that goal line. And the linesman had his flag up a long time before the whistle went as well. So there were two offences there, but Chelsea desperately close to going ahead. Again to the Arsenal with Armstrong, floating it once more. Kennedy looking for it, but Webb in fact getting ahead to it first. And Webb having cleared it to Baldwin was streaking up the field himself. Kennedy turning it on, Webb now trying to get back as Radford turns it in! And just wide there by George Graham. George Gray. Little one towards the near post. Story going in! Oh, against the post! What a beautiful cross, though, by Graham. And Story of all people popping up in that six yard area. There he is, to nod it against the far post. And now doing destroying work at the back for the Arsenal. But still Chelsea with Houseman. And Wilson getting that one at the near post. Charlie Cook with the corner there. Dempsey and Osgood. Dempsey getting ahead to it. And Baldwin to flick it in. But in fact, the whistle had gone. Because Dempsey was levering himself up onto the shoulders of an Arsenal defender. Tremendous crowd. And obviously, uh, any vantage point at Highbury this afternoon is a very good one indeed. Hudson and McClintock. Charlie George again bursting in on the scene there, and McCready going with him, but he still found Radford, and now George Graham. Armstrong coming in on it. Beautifully played there by Armstrong. Oh, and a dummy there, and it's Kennedy in! Oh, a fine goal by Kennedy! played his part, George played his part, and so too did Ray Kennedy. And Rice with the free kick, towards the far post there, Redford with his head, just over. Climbing well at that far side, John Radford. Hollins now to drive the free kick. Dempsey looking to get underneath it, but it's Hudson. Told to float it back again. This time Simpson was up there, and Cook! And Dooney just over! Arsenal's throw. George Graham, faced by Hollins. George Graham again, in very quickly. My goodness, there wasn't much to spare with that one. And Chelsea claiming that uh, Graham helped it along with his arm. Hudson again. McCready has gone down the left for him. Chelsea coming forward now in a fair bit of strength. But being pushed back once more. And now George to fasten on this one to show his speed. Radford, George, and now Kennedy claims for offside, but not given, and a second goal by Ray Kennedy!
George absolutely delighted, and as that one came across, Chelsea was standing still, and Kennedy controlled it beautifully to hammer that ball low past Phillips to put Arsenal 2 0 ahead. Well, Bertie Mee, the Arsenal manager on the left there, very satisfied, I would think, with the team's second half performance. Now, two minutes of injury time gone. the final whistle and uh, Arsenal have won only one of the last 11 games at Highbury between these two clubs have now laid that bogey with a victory with two goals here by the number 10 Ray Kennedy that keeps them still very much in the running for the championship two goals to Kennedy and a victory for the Arsenal the final score then at Highbury is Arsenal 2 Chelsea 